uh, this is this this it's too busy he wants to go to the to the or origin where where mon, mon, the monastic uh, tradition started and so he went to Egypt and he begged them if he can be a hermit and live there and if, and and they said you can be a hermit mit, uh, as long as you have a program time for prayer a time for sacraments a time for handwork you have to have a program you can't just sit there in the sun the, the whole day and uh, and and so uh, Lazarus is living up there uh, at its only contact is another monk that uh, at 12 o'clock at night he will do the sacraments high up in the mountain uh, at the cave of St. Anthony. It's bleak, there's nothing, absolutely nothing. And then once a week he will walk down for two hours to the monastery and get uh, some food and have a shower and things like that. Then I just have to mention this old timers in my time here in Swellendam when I arrived. There were still saddle makers, tire markers in the main street. There were carpenters in the main street. I think of people like oh, Hans Pekir, big uncle. He was as big as a giant. And he said, you know, uh, and he uh, he came to, to the school to, to teach the children to make copper mugs. It was wonderful. And big uncle, uh, had many stories. He said, my father was a Frenchman and my mother a Buramesi. Uh, he was a great fellow. Then Betta, plastic suck, and she would think nothing of it to walk with all her bags on the one side of the street and then shout to me, Moka, come here. And then Uncle Grant Mike, uh, Uncle Grant, Uncle Grant was a real old timer. He looked like a takar. Uh, he had a halfway short, sh uh, khaki shorts, boots without socks, and a long beard. Uh, uh, and he moved the whole day, you know, with his son round his house. He also. Uh, was lying in his bed and the primus on the on 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 the, the table next to him, and uh, and a beautiful uh, thinkwood table. He will uh, cut the legs so that the table that that he mustn't get up, just can work from his bed. There was Mr. Diedrichs that was on the municipal council. He sat in his car the whole day. His daughter and and uh, son-in-law had to slave away in the in the uh, shop, and he he spent his time when he was not in the, at the council meetings in his car, nice and warm, especially in winter, and in Jan Tamati, with his uh, many children uh, living in a small um, uh, mill. Um, and he worked uh, with his horses, my land. Mrs. Lloyd, very British, the uh, uh, parson's wife. Uncle Mike Reed, that was the mayor of Swellendam for 25 years. And, he's, as, and he's, he never married, but his, his, his sister kept house for him. But we, after she met the king and the queen at the Swellendam station, she always moved her hand like the queen. She would sit next to Uncle Mike and the hand just went like this all the time to people, hello, and then she was just moving it like the queen mother. Uh, my interest, as you can gather, friends of Mount Athos, the monasteries, study of the Byzantine uh, Christianity, and gardens and uh, yeah a gardens and my chickens my fish my cat my dogs 
And now I just have to say something more. Awards. It sounds a wee bit funny, but I want to tell you uh, because it meant a lot to me. I received a reward from the Department of Culture, Affairs and Sport for my contribution to the building of democracy in South Africa over the last 10 years. That was in 2014. That meant a lot to me that one m made a, perhaps a difference. And then the board of Railton Foundation in Swellendam nominated me as an unsung hero in 2018. Thank you.